There have been so many stereotypes around the world that link Islam to terrorism. I'm here in Memphis, Tennessee to find out what it means to be Muslim in America. Just like any other Muslim mosque, no matter who you are, it's courteous for anyone to remove shoes before entering. Even the classroom here at the Islamic Center, children take off shoes before going for classes. To the teachers, it is the starting point to groom these children to become obedient Muslims. What do you still remember action there? Like what? Action verb. Uh -huh. But the September 11th terror attack on America scarred millions and as a result, left an indelible print on the Muslim community, especially in the U.S. Um, I wore my hijab when I was 11 years old and... <clears throat> Um, a lot of people, just by looking at me, they, they, they said the word, the T word, which is the terrorist, you know. But the day after the attack, former U.S. President George Bush pronounced that the Muslim community was free to dress up in any form and even interact with others just as before. We're trying to always identify the individual. Many Muslim students were scared of going back to school in fear of discrimination, but there were also lessons to learn from facing these challenges. If you can stick up to um, what your faith tells you to do and to never compromise your faith, no matter how, what people are saying. Every where I go, north or south, in the Midwest or mid south, I found always, always positive experience. They all have the same protections under the law from uh, intrusive uh, government actions. Hundreds of children come here for Arabic lessons which include learning how to read the Quran, recite prayers, and also understanding the norms of the religion. Since these children are the future generation, teachers find it ideal to let them know that terrorism is not part of Islam teachings. Bin Laden for sure is not a role model for us and it's not, for, it's not a role model for the kids that we are teaching here. We're teaching them everything that is wrong about the approach that Bin Laden and his followers are taking. To many non-Muslim communities around the world, when you hear about practicing Sharia, what comes into one's mind is punishment by hanging for crimes like adultery, which is not the case with Muslims in America. Praying is part of Sharia, you know, uh, everything which we do as Muslims is part of Sharia. All these children that come here go to regular schools and this center alone hosts children from other countries around the world which include Niger, Palestine, Syria and India among others. I then sought to know from these children their experience interacting with the non-Muslim children. Like people ask me, um, what do you do when you're a Muslim and how do you do it? And can you do this or you can't, or you can't do that? What do you eat and what you don't eat? Not really anybody makes fun of me about it or anything. It's really good here. I like it. The Memphis Islamic Center sits on 55 acres of land acquired with the support of friends living outside America in the local Muslim community. To the Muslims here, Memphis is home away from home, and they hope this does not change in future as America continues striving to remain the world's number one free nation. Sudil Biarohanga, NTV.